Our spotlight story tonight is about flying without engines over Ephrata. Here with the story is Jeff Chu. Glider flying is a soaring adventure this time of year over Ephrata. Experienced pilots who love to fly gliders say Ephrata has outstanding soaring conditions. That's why so many come from all over the Northwest and Canada each Memorial Day weekend for the annual Ephrata Dust Up. It's a friendly contest of soaring speed and distance. The Seattle Glider Council has a clubhouse on land it leases from the Port of Ephrata, which owns and operates Ephrata Municipal Airport. Many of the pilots tow their gliders to the airport on custom trailers where they carefully reassemble their aircrafts near the runway. Mike Bamberg, who has been flying gliders since he was 16, came up to Ephrata from Hillsboro, Oregon. There he flies with the Willamette Valley Soaring Club. Flying over Ephrata is a tradition with Bamberg, who is a flight instructor with 21 years of airplane and 15 years of glider experience. Ephrata is wonderful because uh, if you look out here to the west-northwest, we have what's called the plateau. And the energy that's stored in that uh, ground surface by the sun creates a lot of lift. It's a really, really nice area, big open area. Um, it just, it has just been a, a mecca for soaring for, you know, my father was coming here in the late 60s. Bamberg also sees Afreda as a safe place to soar. One thing about a glider, we don't have an engine. Uh, when we have good conditions, we're going to go fly and we'll stay up for many, many hours. But on occasion, we are going to have to land someplace other than where we started. One of the beautiful things around here is there's many, many open fields. So if we find ourselves where we don't have enough energy to get home, we can easily land in a very safe environment. So there's an alfalfa field right over here <laughs> that I know very well. <laughs> Daniel Dick from Lake Forest Park north of Seattle was believed to be the youngest glider pilot at the Afreda Dust Up. Dick has flown for three years since he was 13. He's the youngest member of the Evergreen Soaring Club based in Arlington. It's a beautiful sport of flying. You're, you're powered by the wind and you can soar for hours. You're, you're flying off hot currents of uh, rising air and it's just amazing and it's an adrenaline rush and it's a lot of fun. Bamberg's club was kind enough to take me up for my first glider flight. With Bamberg at the glider controls and Linda Chisholm as the tow plane pilot, it was a gradual takeoff from the runway and felt more like a drag race at first. Once at an altitude approaching 3,000 feet, Bamberg released the tow rope and the tow plane peeled off for the airport. That leaves you with nothing but thin air, sleek broad wings, and an experienced pilot's skills keeping you aloft above the ground thousands of feet below. After soaring over downtown Afreda and swinging high over Beasley Hill, it was back to the airport. Bamberg smoothly and gently landed the glider with nothing more than a light thump on the runway. I'm Jeff Chu for i Fiber One News. We will be right back after this.